Oh, we're here today at the uh, Great Sandy Desert at um, Lake Gregory, Lake Poroku. Um, we're here today to all get together, indigenous ranger groups from all around the country in the desert region, to talk about threatened species that we have on each other's IPAs and countryside. Roughly there's probably close to 300 people here that have travelled you know, some distances to get here for this event and like Mullen, this lake is a very, very remote area so they've had a really long journey to get here. We had 11 of us travel up for this event, it took us about um, like over a thousand k to get here. Uh, my name is Terence Shanawana, work for the Nyangamara Rangers. Yeah, it's good to be here to uh, meet every other ranger from all different countries. I'm a RPA support officer and that uh, for the Kariri Pyramid. It's absolutely critical that the people from across 10 fundamental deserts of Australia come together with di their diversity and their uniqueness to share that information with themselves and to correlate that, uh, map it and um, record it and uh, identify where potentially may be other habitats in their locations. The ranges are a critical part to all of that work. Hello, my name is Jody Ward and I am a ranger for uh, community and today I'm um, presenting my little program showing about feral cats and how to look after all the little animals. Hello, my name is Rebecca Johns. I come from Malan community and this is my traditional land and this morning uh, my presentation was about um, feral horses, how they damage the site where uh, birds breed, you know, their habitat. I think that's one of the really important things about where you find night parrots is that... Sort of yeah, I found out um, looking for night parrots is really, really hard. Um, but some of the experts that have been studying them for the last six years that came here um, really gave us a good good tip on how to find them, where to find them, how they feed and drink and where they nest, which is really good. And that's, that's really lucky. And I think an event like this is just so central in the bird, the night parrot was found by the Baraku Rangers. All of a sudden there was a huge amount of excitement from other people across the country wanting to take a leading role on thinking about how to manage it. Baraku and the Indigenous Rangers across Australia have said, we want to take a leading role on how to manage it. And I think that's what this event is doing, is really putting Indigenous Rangers at the centre of the story. Jamie, um, all the Ranger teams. The, uh... We're here to um, work with Indigenous Rangers and for Indigenous Rangers to work with each other to learn more about the night parrot and think about where it might occur and what we might need to do to protect it. And the knowledge that's been gathered and shared here will form the start of the night parrot recovery plan. Sorry. Event like this is good for everyone. Good for the old people, good for the young, young ones, and uh, good for non-Aboriginal to understand the ways of the land and how we could work together to create solutions in both ways. So it's really important to bring people together for these sorts of events so they can share information and build relationships and speak as one about the things that are really important to them to look after on country. It's been a really successful event. Um, you can see there's a lot of uh, talking happening between ranges and between sessions. Yeah, it's good to have visitors having new, new people around here, meeting new faces, um, listening to different stories. 
Um, it's really important for our people. Uh, I'm really happy. Um, everyone came from other countries, right down from Blackstone to Northern Territory area and Pilbara. And it was interesting to come out here to this beautiful country. We looked around when the ladies took us out. That was nice. Oh, this is good for all ranger groups and our group, the Paraguay Rangers, for you know confidence, talking in public, talking to a big crowd, and just um, learning um, from other groups their struggles and achievements that they've done um, with their work out on the field in the desert. Um, so I think everyone's going to get something um, positive out of it to take back home and continue their, their good work.